Assumed position, AP, is a chosen or hypothetical position used primarily in celestial navigation, when calculating a ship's position based on observations of celestial bodies. It is typically not an actual or fixed location but a theoretical one, chosen for ease of computation, often determined using the Mark St. Hilaire method, with the help of site reduction tables, commonly known as Table 249. The first part of this video explains how to determine the assumed position, while the later part will guide you on how to use AP to find the ship's line of position through celestial observation. This scenario is from my previous video, where I explained the difference between dead reckoning and estimated position. Now, to determine the assumed position, I'll use the same scenario, since AP is often based on either DR or estimated position, serving as a reference point for celestial navigation. If you're not familiar with dead reckoning and estimated position, please check the link in the description for a detailed explanation. Let's assume that at 2100 hours, we have observed the sextant altitude of the star Antares, and the ship's DR position is here. The DR latitude is 01 degree, 55 decimal 7 minutes north, and the DR longitude is 103 degrees, 40 decimal 0 minutes east. The next steps involve celestial navigation calculations, but I won't go into detail on that here. This video focuses specifically on how the assumed position is determined and its practical application. Here is the procedure for determining the assumed position. For the assumed latitude, take the nearest whole degree of latitude. Since our DR latitude is 1 degree, 55 decimal 7 minutes north, the whole degree is 2, so our assumed latitude is 2 degrees north. For the assumed longitude, we need to calculate the local hour angle, or LHA of Aries, and this is the formula. LHA of Aries is equal to GHA of Aries, plus easterly longitude, and minus westerly longitude. Let's say at the time the sextant altitude of the star Antares was taken, the Greenwich hour angle, GHA of Aries was, 168 degrees, 56 decimal 2 minutes. Next, we will apply the assumed longitude to determine the LHA of Aries. Since our DR longitude is east, and to find LHA, we add easterly longitude, so assumed longitude will be added. It is stated in the procedure that, when adding the assumed longitude to the GHA of Aries, the sum should be in 60 minutes, so that the LHA is in a whole number of degrees. To achieve this, the minutes of the assumed longitude will be 3.8 minutes. Always remember that our assumed longitude should be nearest to our DR longitude. So we have two choices, those are 103 degrees, 3.8 minutes east, and 104 degrees, 3.8 minutes east. It is clear that the nearest is 104 degrees, 3.8 minutes east. Now the sum of 168 and 104 degrees is 272 degrees. We know that 60 minutes is equal to 1 degree, we will subtract 60 minutes and add 1 degree to 272 degrees. Our LHA of Aries is 273 degrees, which is a whole number of degrees. But what if our DR longitude is west? Then our assumed longitude is 103 degrees, 56 decimal 2 minutes, and our LHA is 065 degrees. To find LHA, subtract westerly longitude from GHA. So the minutes of our assumed longitude should be the same with the minutes of our GHA, so that the minutes of LHA will be zero. And always remember that when choosing our assumed longitude, it should be nearest to our DR longitude. This is the procedure how to determine our assumed position, and in this scenario, our assumed latitude is 2 degrees north, and our assumed longitude is 104 degrees, 3 decimal 8 minutes east. Now what is the purpose of assumed position? 
It is commonly used when we determine the computed altitude, and the true azimuth, or true bearing of celestial bodies, using a site reduction table. This is frequently referred to as, Table 249, where Volume 1 is used for selected stars. For other celestial bodies, it is available on the other volumes. Each page of this table is marked with a specific latitude at the top. This latitude represents our assumed latitude, and I've selected this page because our assumed latitude is 2 degrees north. Let's zoom it in. In this column, you can find the LHA of Aries. Our LHA is 273 degrees, and it is here. Let's focus on this part of the table. As we observe, the latitude is in a whole number of degrees, so as with the LHA of Aries. This is the reason why our assumed latitude and LHA are also in a whole number of degrees. Now our LHA of Aries is 273 degrees, and the observed celestial body is star Antares. We can find the computed altitude and the true bearing of the star Antares in here. The computed altitude is 52 degrees 23 minutes, and the true azimuth is 219 degrees true. Let's go back to the chart. Let's plot our assumed position in the chart. Our assumed latitude is 2 degrees north, and the assumed longitude is 104 degrees 3 decimal 8 minutes east. Here is our assumed position. Lay down the bearing of the star Antares which is 219 degrees true in the assumed position. So the bearing of star Antares is in this direction. But if you are using a different method in finding the true azimuth of any celestial bodies, most especially if that method is using DR position, then the bearing of the body should be laid down in the DR position. Assumed position has no use when using different methods. Let's bring this bearing line back to our assumed position. To determine the line of position, LOP. First, we need to take the difference of the computed altitude and the observed altitude to find the intercept. Let's say our observed altitude is 5 2 degrees 2 7 minutes. The intercept is 4 nautical miles. To determine whether it is away or towards, you can use the rhyming rule greater observed altitude towards, with an acronym, GOAT. If you are not familiar with the following calculations, there are several videos that show a detailed explanation of this topic, this video only focuses on the assumed position. Since the given observed altitude is greater, our intercept is towards. If the observed altitude is lesser than the computed altitude, then the intercept is away. Next measure 4 nautical miles from the assumed position towards the star Antares. Then draw a perpendicular line to the true bearing of the star passing through the intercept. This line is the line of position or LOP. Somewhere along this line is the ship's position. If the intercept is away, then LOP should be 4 nautical miles from the assumed position away from the observed celestial body. If you have taken the sextant altitude of two or more celestial bodies simultaneously, the intersection of two or more LOPs is the ship's fixed position at the time of observation. That's all for now, I hope you found this video helpful, see you next time, thank you for watching, bye.